Last week was about being poisoned. This week is just literally about how the hell did he get up? Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Shimigami X, aka your Captain Captain X. Here to give you another awesome Bleach chapter review. This Bleach chapter is 553, entitled uh, Frozen Cross. All right. First off, I want to start. I want to get where I gripes out with the chapter out of the way because I don't like to end things on a negative note. So I'm going to start off with my first thing. First thing in the chapter. One, Chang Chang did the transition between um, Chang Du's um, reaction. One minute he has blood splurting out of his back and like he's being poisoned, he's being corrupted and he seems scared and worried as naturally he should be. But then in the beginning of this chapter, he's just like, nah, okay, uh, I lost a wing, what the hell? Okay, cool, moving on. What? So that's what I don't understand. Like you've literally just been wounded from your back case. You should be asking more questions like what the hell did you do? Like the reaction seemed a bit, a bit, nah, it just wasn't doing it for me. It really wasn't. And I'm pretty sure if you guys read the chapter, which you probably already have by this time, um, you completely understand where I'm coming from. Nonetheless, moving on. Second thing I didn't like, Toshiro, how the hell did he get up? I thought like, um, after Changdu slashed him, he was down for the count. Like, he was literally lying there on, on death's door, waiting to be taken. And then, as soon as he gets his Bankai back, oh, he manages to get up. Yeah, he still looks beaten up and tattered, but he manages to get back up. Last time I checked here, having a Bankai doesn't mean that, you know, you have more health. It just means that you have more power, more attacking force or defensive power, depending on what your Bankai is. But I've never known a Bankai to give you more health. So that didn't make much sense to me. I was like, okay, you're pretty much down for the count. And then you receive your Bankai back. But, and how the hell did you get up? All right. Nextly, another gripe I had with the chapter is um, how on earth did the Bankais, how on earth did the Bankais get taken back? Because it's like, oh, um, we can obviously see from this chapter that Changdu didn't willingly give back Toshiro's Bankai. So, if the Bankai is supposed to work as a poison towards the Quincy, doesn't that mean that the Quincy should literally die from the inside out? Do you understand what I'm saying from? It's like, if you poisoned me, I would die from the inside out. It's not a case of like, oh, you give me something that's poisonous to me and then suddenly, oh, you're okay, even though you was on death's door. That doesn't make much sense. And that's another grab I have with the chapters. Like, that didn't make any sense to me at all. How can, for one, how can he be on death's door and get back up? Two, how is receiving his Bankai um, miraculous to heal his health? Three, how does Chang Du's expression suddenly change? And yeah, so there's a lot of grabs I have with this chapter just, just from the get go, from the get go. So, okay, move it, moving on into the chapter now. Um, we see Sophone and uh, Omega. Okay, okay, that was cool. There's another, there's another grab I have with this chapter. Alright, um, the Elite Ace also said this in his Bleach chapter review. I don't normally read, watch anybody else's chapter reviews before I do my own. So normally my opinion is straight up my own. But because I've actually, this is actually like probably like my fifth take of doing this review. So hopefully this one uploads. If it doesn't, I'm just going to end up doing it by the YouTube capture app. Alright, nonetheless, um, the Elite Ace said in his Bleach chapter review that, and you know what, rereading the chapter, I noticed this as well. That BG9 is literally... Over soy phone probing her and you know doing whatever flip it is that he's doing. And you can let your imagination wander with you. Um, and then Omega has the pill. Omega goes up to soy phone where BG9 is supposed to be right there, tentacles probing and whatnot, and then gives her the gives her the pill. All right, this is this is a point that I brought up here yeah, within my um, in my Google Hangout. Um, aka slash the captain's table that I had with the elite ace and Charles' enemy world that I don't see the enemy literally standing back and letting um, the Shinigami do their thing to be able to get the upper hand in this battle but that is exactly what we've just seen occur in this um, chapter that BG9 after Omega gives um, Soifon the pill he suddenly tentacles are out he's standing back like, with his, like more or less with his arms folded like hold on hold on hold on how did you get from point A to point B off panel and furthermore why would you do that why would you back up you see Omega come up towards Soifon, who you have completely finished, and then you make him give you make him give her something. Common sense, like BJ9 is probably one of the smartest tournaments because he's one of the most calculated. Obviously, common sense should tell him that if you're go if someone's going to give if one of the if the enemy if a friend of the enemy is going to give them something, it's obviously something to aid them in battle. 
So why are you letting that happen? That's another gripe I had with this chapter. How did that happen? And this chapter, what I should really entitle this chapter, it should be called, um, what's his name? Off-screen occurrences. Because one, how's, Ch how's Chang Du suddenly go from, oh crap, blood's splurting on my back to, meh. How did Toshiro get up? And how did Omega get a chance to give Soifon the pill? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, those are my gripes with the chapter. But other than that, my overall the chapter was actually a very good chapter of Bleach. Um, I did actually like to see what I did like is the realism with um, in so far as Soifon's side, and that was where basically she didn't have the strength to be able to hold up Jackie Korai Kobe, which is her bankai, and be able to fire it accurately. So she used Omega as support to help her guide and aim it. Cool, no issue with that. That is that is very realistic and that was very well done. And then do and obviously we see the explosion that BG9 took the impact of that. Do I think BG9 is dead? Oh no 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 no. We still get to see his final holy form. And I don't know exactly what the power difference is between normal form and holy form, but I know that it's significant. So then he's not out for the count. I don't think none of the Star Knights are gonna be out until we at least see, you know, them release their full power, or if not. If they don't, if they release either their full power in base form or at least release their full power in holy form, one of the two. So I don't see the battles ending until that happens. So honestly, I think next chapter, next chapter, we're gonna skip to somebody else, or they might literally do what happened with um, Toshiro and Basby, where we thought, oh, well, I didn't think Basby was dead, but we, where Basby took the hit, and we thinking, oh, what's going on with Basby? I could see um, Chang Du breaking out of the cross um, that um, Toshiro, the ice cross that Toshiro made. Okay. Now, I did like the new design of Toshiro's Bankai was slightly holified. I did like the kind of like mask thing that he had going on there. I actually thought that was pretty cool. I know it's only temporarily holified, but I wish that it would stay permanently holified because it looks awesome like that. The design of it, the artwork of it looks awesome and I like it a lot. Alright. Um, other than that, there's nothing really more to comment on about Toshiro himself. Other than the fact that, how the hell did he get up? Other than that, nothing more I can really comment on. Other than... Other than the fact that the Bankai somehow has in, improved his health, I, I don't get that, but anyways. I did like Chengdu in this in this um, chapter, like the way he was throwing those kicks at Toshiro, like the way he was like kicking, dodging, ducking, giving the uppercut like kind of kick thing in the air, that was sweet, I loved it. And what I liked as well, I liked um, Chengdu's character design where we see his arms for a change. We see that his arms not like, you know, some fusion between metal and things, they're literally just metal claws attached to his arms as weapons. So I thought that was pretty cool, so what that tells me is that he doesn't use any kind of ridiculous gimmicks or powers. It's all like straight Reietsu or straight hand-to-hand -hand combat or, you know, you know, basically physical martial arts of some kind of sort. And which I'd really like that a lot because he's not relying on any kind of hacked power. He's just straight coming in to kick your ass. Kang Du, he's an awesome guy. He's, he's that guy. And I did like that technique that he did where it was kind of like that. Oh, there's a... Oh, what? Who does that? I'm trying to think, is it, is it, is it a, I can't remember if it's in a game or if it's in a different anime where somebody does that but that move is awesome, oh I can't really remember it's like, that's it um, for those of my One Piece fans, you guys remember um, L Luffy versus Lucy um, where Lucy literally done that thing where he does like that and it like it's like some air blast thing it reminded me of that and that move that Chick Kang Lu does when it's like that I thought it was awesome, I was like yeah that's what it reminded me of but then, yeah, other than that, there's not really much to talk about in this chapter, guys. I thought this chapter was an awesome chapter of Bleach, nonetheless, give a, you know, regardless of my gripes. I can't, you know, base a chapter just because things didn't happen that I didn't like. So, for me to give a fair review, based on the balance of the things that did happen and the things that I didn't like, okay, I'd have to give this review, I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10. The reason for that, as I've explained before. Good things happened in this chapter. There was a lot of action, which did make the chapter feel kind of short. But chapters that tend to have action generally tend to feel short, simply because there's not a lot of dialogue for you to, you know, decipher and dive into and whatnot. But nonetheless, what this chapter did deliver was a lot of action, and it also delivered some clarification about, um, you know, this whole Bankai recovery method, which, in my opinion, I did not like. I didn't like how, oh, you know, the Bankai has suddenly returned to you, like, just out of the Quincy's control. I would have preferred for it to like the Quincy's to be poisoned and if they d and they have the option to return the Bankai and if they don't return the Bankai then they would die. I would have much preferred it to be like that like I said in my last Bleach chapter review. 
Anyways, guys, I've rambled it enough. You guys understand my message. You guys understand my chapter view. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's your boy Shimigami X, aka Captain Captain X. I'm signing out. That's all my people. Take care. Peace. Have an awesome day. You're dismissed. Your chapter has been. Started.